On this problem, it says 41% of the students are male. So I wrote probably of male is 41%. Uh, it also says 30% of the students take statistics. So I'm using S for statistics. Probably the statistics is uh, 30%. And then the tough sentence here is 55% of male students take statistics. So 55% of the male, given male, see the word after the of is what it's out of. It's after the given, out of these. 55% of the male students take statistics. So you've got to get used to doing this and writing this correctly so that you can answer the harder problems. Okay, that's how all the information we're given. If we need to use a table, I would make up a table like this with male and female, statistics, not statistics. And for example, male, 41% was given to us. So therefore, female has to be 1 minus that, 59%. Just like down here, statistics is 30%. So not statistics is 1 minus that, or 70%. So if we need the table, we'll have it. On part A, it says, what percent of students are male that take statistics? That's confusing because you don't see the word and in there, but it means and. We're looking for students that are male and take statistics. Now, to get the probability of male and statistics, you do not multiply these two together. You can only multiply these two together if they would be independent of each other. We don't know if there's just as many males in statistics as females. You don't know that. It's not like flipping coins or something. So to get this, you have to multiply the probability of the first one, male, times the probability of the second one, given the first one. So this is the formula that you got to get used to using on this. And when you see the later problems, you realize, wow, i got to use this formula to death here. Sometimes you even have to flip it around, where it's maybe probably of statistics times the probability of male, given statistics. Either way, it'll work. But this is the information I have, so I just multiply these two together right here. So that's probably male is 41%. Probably statistics given male is 55%. Multiply those two together and you get your answer. And again, you can type these as long as you click in this cell and it says enter a mathematical expression. That means you can do your math in the cell. So this is 0 0.41 times uh, 0.55. And I have that answer. And I'll go ahead and put that in this slot right here. This is male and statistics. So this value right here is 0 0.2255. Don't round it. You just end up making a mistake because you just rounded it. Let's go ahead and do part B. On part B on this problem, it says what percent of students are, see it's out of all students, what percent of students are female that take statistics course? So in other words, we're looking for female and statistics. So female and statistics is going to be the probability of female times the probability of uh, statistics given female. Let's look where this slot is, though. Instead of using this formula, if you look where the slot is, female and statistics, this is where the table helps. This is that slot, female and statistics. This is the probability of female and statistics. I don't have to use this formula to do it because I can get this slot right here. This is the total, and this is males in statistics. So females in statistics is just this minus this, and that's why the table is so nice. So to do this one, I don't have to use a formula and try to fish around and try to find all these things. All I have to do is take that uh, 0.3 at the bottom there, 0.3, and subtract off the 0.2255. And that's it. That's all I really have to do. And that's easier than messing with formulas. And we'll go ahead and submit these and see if we get it right. We do. And we can feel good about that.